What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and we're currently going through the complete Discord basics. If you'd like to see the first video on how to set up a Discord server, make sure to click through that in the description down below. In this video we'll be discussing how to set up and add bots to a Discord server, such as music bots, game bots, and general chat moderation bots. So first of all, open up Discord in the web browser or the app. And before we add any bots, we're going to create a Discord bot role. This allows them access to everything they need and displays them separately so that users don't get confused. We'll hit the name in the top left, server settings, roles, plus, and we'll name it bots. I'll set the color to green and we're going to make sure that administrator is checked. Hit save changes and then close out of it. First of all, I'll be showing you how to add a music bot. Adding bots is similar and the same for most of them and should be self-explanatory. Of course, there's hundreds of thousands of different bots and many, many different music bots. But today, I'll show you how to add rhythm. You can find bots off a website such as discordbots.org. Of course, I know exactly what bots I'll be adding, so I don't need this. So I'll close out of it. On the website of the bot you want to add, make sure to look around for an invite button. Once clicked, you'll be sent to this. You'll be prompted to log in on your browser if you are using the desktop version of Discord. We'll select the server, select our server, and make sure that it has administrator checked, and click authorize. Confirm you're not a robot, and if we head back to the Discord server, we'll see that Rhythm has now joined the server. Rhythm has a bot tag next to it, but we're going to right click, roles, bots. I've forgotten to make it display separately, so we'll head to the top left, server settings, roles, bots, and display separately. Save. And now it's displayed separately under bots. If I demote my second account, you can see that bots are separate from normal users. As you can see, there's a new message in the NSFW channel. I'm not sure why the rhythm bot sent it here, but it did. So as you can see, the bots can currently send messages to any channel. Of course, we don't want this. So, as you may know, the bots already have the administrator role. They have their own roles most of the time, and the one we gave them. If we don't want them seeing certain channels, and we want them using only a special channel that we create, we'll name it Bot Spam. Then they will only be able to use this channel over here. We do this by going to the settings over here. Permissions. Add bots, read and send messages. Manage messages is also quite useful. Hit save changes, close out of it, head to the top left, server settings, roles, bots, and we'll remove the administrator we previously gave them. We can, however, give them the permission to do everything they would normally. So we'll scroll down, we'll put read text channels off, send messages off, and read message history off. Of course, Hit save changes and head back to the channel we just created. We'll give them the permissions we just took away in this channel so that they can read it. Bots. And we'll just take everything to give them every permission in that channel. If we head across to any of these channels, we'll notice that the bot is still here. This is because it has its own administrator role. Some bots don't let you delete their own role. So in order to do that, we'd have to kick it from the server first. This is of course only if you want them using certain channels, and not every channel. We'll go ahead and re-invite it, but this time we'll make sure that administrator is off. Authorize, and joined. As you can see, it sent a message to bot spam, as it's the only channel that it can see. If we right click, we can give it back the bot role. If we click on it, we see that it doesn't have a rhythm role anymore, which is the one that it used to join the server. So we'll begin by joining general. We can now go into the bot spam channel and read what the bot has said. By typing exclamation mark help, the bot gives us its commands. Of course, I already know how to use this, so we'll go play Despacito. The bot joins and begins playing copyright music, so let's mute it and leave. Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and add a couple more bots to the server. The next one I'll be adding is Me6, a general chat moderation bot. We'll hit add to discord and authorize. For this one we don't need to worry about its administrator role as it manages chat in all channels. You can also set it to filter out swear words or certain things you don't like. We'll select a server and make sure that it has every permission at once 
and authorize. Confirm you're not a robot, and it will join the server. As you can see over here, we'll go ahead and give it the bot role. Heading back to the Mi6 dashboard, you can see that you can make your own custom commands, have levels and chat for people who talk often, and welcome new users to the server. This one can be quite annoying if you leave it on, so you might want to set it to disable or private message them when they join the server. You can put your own message here. Once you're done, you can hit save and head back to the plugins page. You can have a look at the rest of the things here, but we're not going to do any of them right now. We're just showing you how to add the bots to the server. The last bot I'm going to add to the server is BoxBot, just a general fun bot for people to play around with. As usual, select the server you want it to go to, and this time we're going to make sure that read messages and send messages is disabled. This stops it talking in every single channel and just the ones that we want. So we'll hit authorize and check I'm not a robot. Then you'll notice that it joins the server and you'll see it in this part over here. Right click, roles, bots. If you see bots on the right hand side that you don't want looking at certain channels and responding to commands like B help for the box bot, then you can click the settings next to the channel you want, permissions, hit the plus, bots, scroll down and make sure that read and send messages are off. Once you save changes and head back, you'll notice that the bots you don't want there have disappeared and the bots with administrator roles will still be there. We'll go ahead and do that for every channel we don't want them spamming in. Now if we type a message in general chat asking for a bot's reaction, we'll see that it can't respond. If we head to bot spam where they're allowed to be, we type in a command, you'll see that it pops up here. And that's it. In the next video, I'll be touching on how to add notification bots to your server to say when you make a tweet, upload a YouTube video, or start a Twitch stream. This can, of course, be you, another person, or someone you're just following. So, thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao.